Welcome to Chad Hates Carbs. Today's a continuation of our playing with eggs series. Um, these are the these are the non-beautiful eggs that we hard boiled, the ones that didn't come across super awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're gonna hide the fact that we had to mangle some of these eggs um, by putting them into an egg salad. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm just slapping these into a magic bullet. You'll notice that they don't quite fit, but that's okay because once we get all the air out of here, they will fit just fine. So I'm just going to screw that down. I'm going to going to start uh, chopping these things up. So we got one batch, one of them kind of uh, kind of going there. That egg is nice and pulsed. So we're gonna go ahead and. Have that guy go away, and we're going to just add that other one right in there. We're going to keep it coming. It's a little bit of a pain um, if you have a, a bigger one, a bigger food, food processor. It's going to be a little bit easier than using this. Um, I just like this because it's super easy to wash, um, and uh, it does what I need. So. Um, Again, you want to make sure that you don't have any huge chunks coming out, um, but these are these are coming out okay. Um, it kind of depends if you're making this for uh, you know fancy people, which I don't know a lot of fancy people. If you're making it for fancy people, you might need it to be a little bit more. You might need it to be a little bit smoother or something, but you know. I don't have time for fancy people. Um, they have too many silly requirements. So anyway, once we get this all kind of chopped up a little bit, we're going to looks like we're going to do another couple of pulses maybe. Let's get this going. It's also important to note that the blade is a uh, is quite because if you use the blade that's super flat in one of these, it doesn't work very well. You need to get the one that's going to give you um, it's going to get back up inside of the other piece. I'm I've done this, I have this in this state, I realize, hey, it's not going to work in this bowl. So let me grab a bowl that I can use to do this. Alrighty, so we're going to slap this, our egg mass, in there. Now, I'm making this for an egg fast, and the, the recipe that I've got here for this guy is um, it's funny because they, they said in one of the recipes don't use lemon juice and then they turn around and in this recipe they're like oh yeah you need lemon juice so I'm gonna put lemon juice in here but understand that there are carbs in here uh, in, in lemon juice um, this is uh, shows total carbohydrate zero so I'm not really sure why they said that there were carbs in lemon juice but who knows I'm just going with what I read, and sometimes that's wrong, obviously. So, it says we need a teaspoon of mustard, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and two tablespoons of mayonnaise. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And this incredibly specific and accurate measuring methodology. More mayonnaise is always better. Okay, and then we need teaspoons or teaspoons. Let's see if I can find it. So, there we go. Teaspoon, teaspoon of lemon juice. Since a little squirt got in there, we'll call that good. And then a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And it's surprising how much of the flavor of an egg salad 
It comes from the Dijon, of course. This is going to be almost empty. Alright. So there's that. And the reason I put that lemon juice in there first is because I was hoping that it would help the Dijon not stick, but it didn't quite work out so far. So anyway, so there's our Dijon mustard. And we're just gonna mix this guy up. And I'm gonna splatter stuff on myself. That's how I roll. And again, texture and egg salad, one of those things that um, is important, but you know, if you want smaller chunks, absolutely. You can like put it in a blender and puree it, but I like it at least a little bit chunky, you know, so I know what I'm eating. Um, so that's kind of your call. But you can see, even with just what we did there, um, there's it's nice and fluffy, um, got some body to it, it's kind of tangy, um, and uh, it'll be perfect for some kind of a some kind of a low carb wrap or something. Um, obviously, you know, a wrap. Or I guess you can make an egg salad sandwich if you make some no carb bread. That's pretty good. But I think it definitely could use more Dijon. Because Dijon is going to give it a little bit more intense flavor. It's not going to be quite so bland. I made deviled eggs, and I like when I make, make my deviled eggs, I always make them with um, hot sauce because I prefer spicy stuff. So I decided that's why I'm just doing this instead of just going the, going the throw more red hot at it route. And Dijon, the beauty of the, of the, the Dijon is that it, there we go, gives it more tang without having too much. Um, too much sweetness or kind of weird flavor. It's pretty good. I do think I'm going to add more lemon juice though. So I don't know, that's probably another half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Just for a little bit more zip. salt. I prefer to add salt kind of towards the end of any recipe. Um, I got bit <laughs> on a recent one because I didn't taste it before I added the salt and uh, it reminded me why my wife always tells me to taste everything. She's the smart one. <laughs> Definitely when it comes to food. Something about that degree in food science or something. Anyway, That's much better. I mean, it, I, obviously, you can keep tweaking stuff forever, but as soon as you taste it, you know, a thousand times, you start to lose objectivity. And you're like, I just want to be done. It's kind of where I'm at right now. It tastes fine. It's just like you're thinking about, hey, what can I do to add this? And obviously, if you wanted to add cool stuff to it, you could add, like, uh, celery, like chopped up celery or, you know, other, other you know, uh, herbs or whatever. You could add green onions to it if you wanted to or whatever. But... For me, on an egg fast, the goal here is to keep it like super zero carb. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. So if you have any things that you like to add to your egg salad, leave them in the comments and uh, let me know. And uh, maybe we'll try another modification later. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.